Our next big story, more earthquakes rattle southern New England. Today's tremors weren't as strong, but they're still causing some concern. The latest earthquake was again centered in Plainfield, Connecticut. That's right over the Rhode Island border. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is in the newsroom now with more. That's right. My first conversation was with the local police chief who tells me he's received hundreds of calls about what's been going on. Plainfield, Connecticut Police Chief Michael Superno wasn't expecting this. No one here was. This is the last thing I'd be, I thought I'd be talking to the media about was earthquakes in the town of Plainfield. As of this newscast, the chief reports eight confirmed quakes, smaller ones, following Monday morning's 3.3 magnitude event. Monday's felt in Rhode Island. One of Tuesday's tremors around 7.30 a.m. was in the neighborhood of two on the Richter scale. Still, no injuries, no serious damage beyond fallen items and cracks in homes, but this has not been comfortable. People are concerned because uh, we cannot predict it. We don't know how or why it's happening, and people are concerned because they're in fear for themselves, they're in fear for their families. Eastern Connecticut has long been seismically active, but these events aren't usually felt. Experts tell us it is unlikely a larger quake is in store. For now, the people of this sleepy region want to return to tranquility. Yeah, exactly. Get back to the normal business. And staffers with the Weston Observatory were down in the Plainfield area today laying equipment so they can get a better handle on what exactly is going on subsurface. In the newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.